All right, guys, let's talk about that kid from Parkland who used the N-word more than Django Unchained and now can't go to Harvard. So let's talk about it. Okay, guys, so let's talk about Kyle Cash of the Parkland conservative kid. I don't care where you fall politically, whether you're conservative or liberal, my family is conservative, I am liberal. A kid came out from Parkland and decided to apply to Harvard. Through grades, whatever, he was allowed to attend. They, they, they gave him an acceptance letter. Well, it comes out recently, and by recently I would imagine in the last two weeks, though I'm a little behind, this kid, says the n-word now there's some arguments for incidental racism and there's arguments for actual racism the n-word's always racist whether you like it or not so that's just something you're gonna have to get your head around we live in a different time we live in a different place this kid two years ago drops the n-word 10 times in conversation that was saved 10 times i believe even more alluding to how easy it is to say how much and how good he is at saying it and then promptly later sends a text message about a girl he wanted to date saying that N-word jock took my girl. Or took the girl. Paraphrasing. Except for the N-word jock part. Harvard, after investigation, decided it is not in their best interest to allow admittance to a noted racist and declined his acceptance. He, throwing a fit, goes public, says it's because he's conservative, says it wouldn't happen the other way. Let's be clear on my opinion about this. This is not because he's conservative, it is a private school. A private school can in any way decline your acceptance. And they're allowed to do that, man. Like, I'm sorry for you. Maybe don't say the N-word a bunch and you could have went to Harvard. Now you don't get to. And I would imagine you would be toxic to most Ivy League schools at this point. All being private institutions, they won't want to involve themselves in this. Colleges like that no longer have the same air cover of prestige they used to. Harvard, Yale, Brown, Princeton. There's a more dedicated eye to them as college scandals have come out, as paying to play has come out that they can't afford to be besmirched in the same way because they have been predominantly white for a long time, because they have been predominantly wealthy families who would be considered conservative whether you like that or not. So they have targets on their back that the average college does not. Ohio State has targets, but not like Harvard. Harvard, everybody wants to gun for. Now this kid, after saying it, comes out and he writes an apology letter saying, I'm sorry, after the shooting, I have a different perspective. Uh, so many things have changed my life since then. And then it comes up, the conversation was two years ago. You said the N-word so much, I thought I had Django on in the background type of, I'm floored. Bro, here's kind of a policy I have about it. And this is my policy and other people can have it. Uh, people deserve forgiveness. People deserve a second chance. But if I have a condiment in my refrigerator older than the event, you probably need more time away from the event. I get the shooting was traumatic. I cannot imagine being in that position. I, I frankly can't. I went to a school where that just <laughs> would not happen. However, that to me, two years ago, cause you said it two years ago, man. Like you didn't say it that long ago and to say, whoa, I'm so different now. But you attach yourself to a group of, of people who have notably supported white supremacy. Now I'm not talking about the president, I'm talking about some of the social activists you have connected, he's connected himself with online. Harvard can't play in scales of gray here. Harvard can't play in the middle 80% and hope you're not a racist and then have something happen. You're close enough to people who were defined as racists. Your comments were unequivocally racist. So when private higher education comes out and says, hey man, that's racist. We can't have racism here. You can get your feelings hurt. But what did you think was gonna happen? The internet is forever, period. The things you put out there now, the things you say now, the internet is forever. If you slide in someone's DMs, 
know that it could come it could come to light the internet is forever flat out period when you say things online you need to know that what you said should and could echo forever we don't live in a generation like our parents do and a lot of us need to have the realistic conversations that the generation that's getting upset about uh equity and comments and and equality doesn't understand that now everything we live in the first generation of people who accept our data is going to get stolen that someone's going to hack our instagram that someone's going to hack our facebook we just accept that we know okay we need to make sure we have the right email set up because this is going to happen and this kid got got and he's shocked by it because how did you not know that was going to happen and you may have friends who joke uh and it's not it's never okay ask comment and you want to say the n-word someplace expect your company to retaliate in kind if you decide to do some sexist shit expect your company to retaliate in kind i'm gonna tell you right now the internet is forever companies now are represented in places they never wanted to be represented they don't want you showing your ass online and inevitably you're going to run off at the mouth and you every time you do thank the sweet lord you don't get got look where we are you can't it's not the same universe anymore the quality is real and it should be fought for by every one of us so when someone makes that comment expect your private unfunded university to stand up and give a shit about what you say we all do so come on just don't say it. just don't say it you want to be a racist be a racist offline or Get real fly, and I'll give you a couple addresses of places in Detroit or Cleveland or Columbus or Cincinnati. Come to one of our towns and be racist, and then get dealt with personally. You wanted to go to Harvard, ran your little mouth off, and got stupid. This is the world's smallest violin playing a solo for your college career. Sorry, cuz. Let... Tulsa State or someplace else now take your education further because this is not gonna happen son you you are the definition of Florida guy Florida guy gets shot at in a school decided to be racist earlier confused as to not why he can go to the school you're this far from bath salts cuz I don't know man anyways if you like hearing my opinions on things uh Anyways, if you like hearing my opinions on things, you gotta do three things for me. Like the video, uh, it helps a lot. Thumbs up down in the corner. Subscribe, I'll put a face at the end. If you click that, you can subscribe. It helps me. I'm still trying to get to 100 subscriptions, so every bit counts. Uh, and leave a comment. What do you think about this kid being upset that he couldn't get into Harvard? Let's have a discussion. And uh, as always, I'll catch y'all later.